For better or for worse, I don't think anyone's shocked, or at the very least, I don't think there's any surprise that I've certainly developed this, uh, this new love for the world of skateboarding. This thing, it's been on the channel. But being a lifetime rider of bikes, it's kind of put me in this like weird category of like not like not knowing the norms of skateboarding at all. So like, for example, because I'm not burdened with like the traditions and I don't know any better, I see what I like and I like it because I know intuitively in my mind, that's what I like. I think that's, I think that's cool. I want to do that. And it makes for, in my opinion, something wildly entertaining and incredibly interesting. Actually, I think all I'm getting at here is like, is I approach riding a skateboard the exact same way that I would approach riding a, like I just. So take that intro, flip it over and apply it to today's someone else's bike feature, the GT Timberline of Colin Beckman. Allow me to offer the tiniest bit of context. So Colin Breckman, the owner of this 1989 GT Timberline that you are seeing in frame right now, is a 28 year old bricklayer from Winterpeg and has been a sponsored skateboarder for Scam Skate since 2009. And then it says here, though I'm getting old, so I handle a lot of the video photography side now. Colin, I'm 29. This Timberline is the first time that I've built a bike from the frame up. I bought the frame as soon as I saw it on Kijiji and I knew it was too big for me, so I cut down the seat tube a good inch. You cut down the seat tube a good inch? Do you mean the seat post? So I'll be honest, it's the first picture, this one, that Colin sent me of his GT Timberline that got me. That I was like, oh, man, I wanna know more about this and I wanna talk about it. Classic retro GT mountain bike frame, townie bars, single speed, skate rack with skateboard on it. Couldn't tell what anything else was, but I was like, this, this is a skateboarder's bike and I wanna know more about it. Because lately, and it might just be from like hanging out with Russ online and everything, but I've got this new fondness of having a bike around that can be used for more than just like biking. The utilitarianism of throwing on a skate rack and then also building everything else around it to your complete liking without knowing or having to deal with any sort of rules. You're like, I like that, I want that, I'm putting it on, click order. Thank you very much. Not to mention, Colin, I've got that same impulse problem with things on Kijiji. If it looks like it's kind of the right size or a little bit small for me, I'll also buy it. I actually usually buy things sight unseen. Let's talk some details on Collins' 1989 GT Timberline. Starting with my favorite details, the wheels. Because as you know, I'm really hankering to build myself a set of coaster brake wheels for something like this in the future. The wheels are built by Monet Bikes using Monet's custom coaster brake rear hub. It uses a Shimano CBE 110, and then they modify and improve it by upgrading the drive side bearing, upgrading to a wheels manufacturing hardened chromo axle. Grease is replaced with special clunktastic high temp molly grease for longer life and some bite. Modified brake shoes to better control the grease flow. That and the Shimano front hub laced to 650B velocity cliffhangers. And then I think partially easily, my second favorite, maybe third favorite part of this build, the Simworks homage tires. 43 millimeters wide, tan wall, green rad goodness, branded Simworks, made by our good friends over at Panracer, who sponsor this channel, thank you very much. Now, there's a special slew of BMX parts that are on this GT Timberline, and they go as follows. Profile Racing No Boss Crankset, 165 millimeters long, with a 36 tooth Profile Racing Spline Drive Sprocket, and a Profile Euro bottom bracket. That's an expensive bottom bracket. Shadow Conspiracy Pedals, a Primo Corduroy Pivotal BMX Saddle with a Fiend C-Post. 
Uh, Colin, is that seat post the correct diameter for in that bike? Curious. Let me know. And then in very, very spindat fashion, a very dirty KMC chain. <laughs> and the fork. I love the description of the fork. A cheap $25 fork that I crudely cut the brake mounts off of. Which is hilarious, because here we have a cheap fork that has crudely had its brake mounts taken off of on my GT, not, not Timberline, but Outpost Trail, the GTMX, as we all know it. The similarities are too real. Now there's a 49N quill adapter and 49N stem that are holding on to those FSA Metropolis bars that don themselves some death grip grips. Personally, I think it's the bar and the coaster brake setup that really does it for me on this bike the most. It's inspired me to put my own spindat grouchness aside and be like, you know what, just try a rack. Put a skateboard on it and see what it's like. I wish I had, I wish I had the proper skate rack, but I don't. Ultimately, I really love Colin's Timberline build because it, in a lot of ways, reminds me of something that I would take on and do myself. Spending money at areas that you feel are the places you really want to get the most return out of your investment, and then just kind of like finding the cool stuff that isn't going to cost very much to finish off the rest. Interest peaked immensely due to the myriad of BMX parts that are on there as well. And then the fact that the use of this build seems to be completely modular. I've got one picture of it with a skate rack on it. I picture it being torn around town, stopped, skateboarded with it around, skateboard thrown back on it, going off and doing other things. And then in this edition that we have video of, no rack, pure party mode, out tearing up dirt roads and other places. Which is an extremely refreshing take of a build for me because I tend to, anytime I have an idea, I'm like, that needs to be a whole other bike. Like if I'm gonna build something with a rack, well then that's a whole other bike. Which, as inspired as I am, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to live with a rack on the Grouch. I might have to build something completely different. Colin? I appreciate you sharing your Coaster Break GT Timberline build.